Hi guys, it's Adam and uh, after a fair few weeks of the chite shops being abysmal really, um, I have got a fairly okay haul. I mean, there's not anything like mega mega in, me, in here. Um, some standard pickups, I've got some board games and yes I said I'm not picking board games up but the reason I got them is because last Christmas the ones I've got did well for me. So I'm just putting them away for Christmas. I might explore whether one or two could go up to FBA right now and just give me a bit of bit of capital basically, but most of them going for Christmas. I got a few bits for FBA because I'm trying to keep FBA going. Um so you know I'm 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 not doing it to any major extent, but I'm trying to keep it going at least. Um and then I got a few well, one or two different pickups. And I got a bit more of a contact as well, which is good. Um, so, first board game, all the board games were yellow stickered in the charity shop that the guy keeps things back for me. But I told him don't keep board games back for me anymore unless they're vintage. Um, and he's pretty clued up on his vintage board games, so he knows which ones I want kept back and which ones I'm not bothered about. So these were just out on the shelf as ordinary. And they were a pound each, and I thought, you know what? They're in it's in good condition, most of these, and I'll just, I'll just whack them in a box till Christmas. I need some Christmas stock anyway. So that was that. Just twister a quid. I, I may think of, I, you know, I'll probably keep this for Christmas. Actually, I was going to say I may send this into FBA now, but I'll probably keep it for Christmas. Um, so yeah, that was a logo. Um, Ooh, that was the logo board game. Who? Uh, what am I? Um, Plunk again, probably Christmas. And finally, a standard trivial pursuit. And what I'll do with that is I'll probably keep it till Christmas, or just whenever my stocks run low of trivial pursuit, I'll just add it to my listing. So yeah, those are the board games. I got this thing because this is awesome. It's not for reset reselling. It is for to do with reselling, um, but it's not for resale. Um, but what it is is a compartmental thing with a little tray in there as well, like a little lower down drawer. And what I'm going to do um, is put bits and bobs of my Lego in here in this bottom tray, and then in this top compartmental thing because. It's just very unorganised on my shelf at the moment and I need some sort of way of containing it and making it all nice and boxed up and, and lovely and looking nice on the shelf. And of course it'll save me a lot of time because I know all my Lego is in this one and I've got all my minifigures in two other longer compartmental things. So yeah, that was that. That was three quid but I mean, you know, that you wouldn't get something like that like from a retail store for three quid, so I was happy with that. Um, I'll save that one for in a minute, because that's a cool little pickup. Um, Sims 2 Apartment Life, and I was like, yeah, this is a good one, I know that this one has value. And I look inside at the, at the shop, and it's just my look, but it actually has uh, the Sims free time in there. But then I realised I have the disc this is a weird coincidence. I have the Apartment Life disc in the free time uh, jewel case. So I was thinking, hang on a minute, I could just swap the discs over. That's, that's perfect. So I picked it up anyway. I'm going to swap, um, obviously you swap the discs over so we've got the right cases. And yeah, then I can sell the Sims to Apartment Life. Um, on its own and then I can bundle up the free time with my other sims, two things. Um, yeah, for these sims, uh, I wouldn't pay more than sort of 50p. This one was 25p. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm looking out for them. Now I'm getting into media a bit more. Uh, what else have we got? A few bits of sealed media for FBA. Um, Ricky Martin Live. I think he's the guy who did Living the Vida Loco, I don't know. Maybe not, I don't know. Um, but yeah, that's going for 11 on FBA. 
BBC DVD, a scan this in, The Natural World. Now on eBay, there is two gone, one for $14.99 and one for $19.99, I believe, that are, that are sold. And I think they were used. And I looked on Amazon, and for some reason, it was going for £61 merchant fulfilled with no FBA offers um, for new, of course. Um, so, I was like... Hang on a minute, that can't be right. So, I didn't look at the sales rank or anything. It was £1.95. Um, so, I picked it up and I thought, worst comes to worst, I can sell it on eBay and it'll probably go within a few months at least. Um, but the sales rank was slightly high. It was 102000 in DVD, which is, yeah, quite a slow seller. I've got something up there at the moment which is 150000 and it's been set up there for two or three months. So... Yeah, 102,000, I think it's still going to be quite a slow seller. And then I got this new and sealed, um, The Shield for £1 box set. Goes for a 21 FBA, so that was quite good. So yeah, stocked up a few things for FBA. I may um, think about sending that Twister and maybe the logo game thing into FBA now, but I don't know. Um, I've not sent used board games into FBA before, so I would like to test out that sort of market, that sort of area. Um, so yeah, I may do that, but I don't know. Um, now I have... Now I wasn't sure whether this was factually sealed. There's a little sort of round seal on it, just there. I probably won't be able to see that actually. Um, but yeah, just there, there's this round seal. And I, I asked my mum, my mum was with me, and said, do you think that's factory sealed? And I was, I said, I said to her, I think it is, but I don't know. And then I didn't really want to open it or ask someone in the store to open it and then find out it, it was factory sealed because then I've opened it. Um, but then the woman on the cat said, yes, it is factory sealed. We've got one that's been opened um, that is, but that's all sealed inside. Paid two forty nine for that one, and she said. Uh, I'll just get the other one out the back, and I've actually got two more. Um, so I've got four in total. Would you would be you be interested in all of them? Now I didn't know. I have not had a clue. I've not had any experience selling CD audio things before. I've sold the blank tapes, the sealed cassette tapes, but not the CD ones. So I knew they had value, but I, I just don't know what these. I st I've still not done my research. I don't know what these are going for. I would imagine something like a 10 disc thing there, you probably are going to ask like £2 a disc. They're all sealed, so like 20 quid for that. As I say, I don't know, but that's just what my instincts are telling me. Um, so I took two of them, and I said, I need to do some research on them. The, these, this chart shop, no, I'm a reseller. So I said, I need to do some research on them. Would you mind just holding them holding back for me? This chart shop do know I'm a reseller, but they don't hand, uh, hold things back for me. So... Yeah, they said, yeah, I'd be more than happy to do that. Um, I know you come in on a regular basis anyway, so I'll probably see you sometime in the week. And I said, yeah, you will. I'll probably be in on Tuesday. So if these are good and we sell and I can get some good profit back from my £2.50 I paid, then, yeah, I'm going to get the other two. And then there's some good money in it. Um, if these do go, here's the other one with, the, with that. But they are all, I don't think you'll be able to see that, but. Just get one out for you. It is sealed. There. Okay, you can see it's sealed. Um, so yeah, I don't know, but if these do sort of go for 20 quid each, then I could get pick up the other two later on in the week, and I could turn sort of a tenner into 80 quid. So that's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, they were nice. Hopefully with some good money in them. And then the final pick up of the... Yeah, um, I got some of... My usual void fill. I, I always need this. I always pick up about three or four of these and I still need more. Um, so yeah, I got some of that and I got a few wine boxes because I was low on wine boxes. Great place to go for wine boxes, as I've said in the past, is Sainsbury's. I absolutely love it. Uh, but was, they usually have a cardboard bin um, or a big area just full of boxes in, the lo in my local Sainsbury's. They do anyway. And I'm sure they do in yours. But... If that bin is empty, I always go down the alcohol aisles and 
check to see if anyone's actually unpacking anything and I say um, have you got any boxes because they usually have um, attached to the trolley they usually have like a big bag hanging off the trolley with all flat pack boxes in and they say yeah just go in there and you'll get one um, so I got yeah a few of my wine boxes about three or four um, so that was pretty cool got them um, I've, I don't need need a box for FBA yet I've got a couple of them um, so that's okay mainly Mainly I've got boxes for FBA because of the uh, Lego job lots I've had. Um, and then finally, I've got a lime green Game Boy Colour. It does work. Oh no, there's not batteries in it. No, he took the batteries out. I don't know why I thought there was. With its battery cover. Now, I don't know about all these. You know, a lot of people say the model number. There's like some sort of special model number if you... Uh, and if you get that model number, obviously it's worth more. My model number is CGB-001, uh, and I believe that's the, just the generic one, but, I, you know, I don't know. But I'm not 100%. It has a Game Boy Advance uh, SP thing, gaming here, or Game Boy Advance. Um, and this one, I am pretty sure... I used to watch when I was uh, when I was when I had my Game Boy Advance SP, um, and it was I used to love watching them. And when when he said I've got a Game Boy Color, and then I, I took that cartridge out, it just was a feeling of nostalgia because I used to watch these little Cartoon Network things on it. Um, so yeah, that's not a correct game for it. So I, obviously, I could uh, we fired it up, but it wouldn't go past the Game Boy Color screen. Um, now I don't know whether that's because there's no game in it and it should be working fine or whether um, it is a malfunction of some sort but I think it's working fine. What I am going to probably do is wait for a game or buy a game really cheap off eBay, snipe a, a cheap bundle of games or something um, and yeah hopefully sell it. I don't know how much it goes for and I did pay up a little, I paid a fiver for it. Um, so yeah I don't know but... I, I did used to sell Game Boy Advance SPs. I used to buy off eBay and then resell them. And that was way before I even knew I was reselling. That was sort of like 2010, 2011 time. And I didn't make much money on it because I didn't know what I was doing. Um, so, yeah. I, but I didn't used to sell Game Boy Color. I used to sell Game Boy Advance SP. I used to sell the Tribal Editions. Uh, the Zelda Gold Edition. I had one of them. Uh, the like red, the blue coloured ones, or like all the different ones. I used to buy off eBay to resell on eBay. Um, but as I say, I, I wasn't good with like eBay sniping. Obviously, there's a lot of competition, so I didn't really get them for that for cheap enough to warrant doing it. But at the time, I was only like 14, so even making a couple of quid on one or three or four quid on one made me happy. So yeah, uh, I used to do that, but. As I said, I didn't do Game Boy Color, um, so I don't know what they're going for, but I would imagine maybe this with a few games, seeing as it's got its battery cover, I would imagine like 15, 20, maybe even 25, I don't know. Um, but yeah, I'm going to probably wait for a game for that. Um, so yeah, that was that, and that's all my pickups. So a few different ones in there, a few for FBA, and then just some generic board games and stuff. Um, funnily enough, my best pickup today was probably the compartmental thing, the the draw thing, because I really, really needed that. And as soon as I saw it, I was like, yes, I can get that. It'll be great for my Lego. I did fall in love with the Game Boy as soon as I saw it. Never sold one before. Not not a Game Boy Color anyway. Um, but it's just the nostalgia of it. I just saw it and my, I think my friend had a lime green one for a while, so... Yeah, anyway, that's my lunch. I've been shouted for my lunch. Um, it's Saturday, by the way. I'm going to add to this video for my car boot haul if we go. The weather's a bit choppy, so I don't know whether I will get to go, but I don't know if it's going to be cancelled or anything. But if it isn't cancelled, I'll add to the end of this video. See you soon, guys. And, yeah, um, that'll do it for me. Bye. Hi, guys, it's Adam, and I'm adding this on to the previous video that you will have just seen. Um, yeah, I went to two car boots, one yesterday, which was Sunday, and one today, which is Bank Holiday Monday. The Sunday one, I didn't expect much anyway, um, but it was a bit of a washout. I mean, it wasn't actually raining that much, but 
people seem to leave really, really, really early. Um, I got there sort of a quarter of the way through, or what would have been a quarter of the way through if people hadn't have left. Um, and yeah, just people seem to leave. There was four cars when I, when I turned up. Apparently there had only been about 10 or 12 anyway. Um, so I managed to get um, this thing which I've already listed. Um, P the free PG Chips mug. And then I got a... Just to get it out of my bundled stock area. Um, a, just a normal monkey which is a bit worse for wear really. Got a bit of dirt on him and stuff but I can clean him up. So that was all from the first car boot on Sunday, that was it. And now I've just got in from, hence why I'm wearing my coat, I've just got in from the second car boot sale. Um, it was a little bit better, but again, it was at a football club, a small football club where, near where I live. And again, it wasn't anything big. Um, but I did get a few little bits, very, very limited in what I could find. Um, Pick this up. I don't know whether you can see that. It's not the best light. Uh, my room's having a makeover at the moment. It's completely empty, um, and we're doing the same as what we did in here, like painting it and carpet and stuff. Um, so I I'm having to do the video from in here, so the light's not great. Um, so I got this world best teacher mug, and I thought, I mean, I, I normally wouldn't pick this up, but. I was thinking to myself, um, it's coming around that time now, like May, June, where, you know, it's start of, st sort of starting to wind down the academic year, um, and, you know, maybe if I put this on in June, um, then it may sell in sort of late June, early July time, um, so, you know, I thought I'd get it, I picked it up for a quid, um, and if it doesn't sell, I can just, I can just scrap it, just chuck it in the bin, um, but yeah, I, I, think, I think it may do. I think it may do, sort of July time, early July. Um, I get, I'll have to give it a bit of a clean up. But the fact that it's boxed helps a bit. Um, got a Disney Wonderful World of Reading, 25p. Um, and then I got a Disney DVD again, nothing special, a quid. But it has got the code in. Um, I don't know how many points I've got, but I need to have a look at that, because I know it's ending soon. Um, and then, I had to get this, because I thought, I need to be looking out for different things, because there's nothing there that I usually pick up, so I've got to pick up something different to make it worthwhile. Um, so I ended up picking up this for £2. Um, now this is, I think it's the old, yeah, it's the old router I actually, well, we actually, had, we actually had. BT Voyager 220 volt router, new and factory sealed. I don't know if you can see that. So, yeah, I don't know, but for two quid, I was going to go on that. And when I do my research, it may be worth nothing. It may be worth, you know, 20 quid, something like that. So, that may sort of pay off for me. And it, it, at least it's covered my costs of getting to the both places, and it's made me a little bit of money. Both the places I went to, I didn't mind actually going to because they weren't a, really far away or anything. One was about five miles away, and the other one was about three miles away. So, you know, it's not much petrol cost or anything. So, as you know, even if I didn't get anything, I, I, I wasn't too bothered. Um, but yeah, I did get a few bits. Um, but yeah, that could be something quite good. That could be sort of 20, 25 quid. And if so, I'm happy with that. Um, as I say, the mug's already on for 11 quid. So that paid for, for yesterday's outing anyway. Um, and then I've just got a few little bits for bundling, really. Um, so yeah. Oh, and I did I show... No, I showed that in a video, didn't I? Um... Yeah, this here. I, I ended up I, I ended up putting this on eBay, um, just because I didn't want to send it into Amazon. The sales rank was a little high. It wasn't mega high, but it was a little bit too high. Um, and I saw one going used for ninety was it nineteen ninety nine I think on on eBay sold. It was actually sold. 
So I decided to put mine on eBay, just nice, quick, easy listing. Um, new and sealed for £30 plus postage. So that's definitely Bolo, that's one to look out for. It doesn't sell very often though, um, on both eBay or Amazon. Um, but I thought I'd just try it on eBay. So yeah, put that on eBay for 30 quid, so that's pretty cool. Um, and then I decided to randomly make up a Lego house, because I was bored last night. So I made up this site with random parts and pieces. It's got some roof tiles on and stuff there. So I'm selling that as is. <laughs> Just because I thought, I can't be bothered sorting it into kilogram bags. So I'll make something up out of it for a bit of bit of fun. So, I don't know. I've put that on, that Lego house on as is. Just for a bit of a laugh really. Just because I thought, hey, I may as well try it. So, um, yeah, I've put it on for like 12 99 or something. Um, but I think there's... Yeah, I think, I mean, it's getting on for probably about half a kilo or something. Um, but it's got a vintage base plate in the back, I think 10 by 16, I think, 10 by 16. Um, so, obviously, I mean, that's worth something on its own. Um, and then it's got this, decided to chuck in this green door, trans green door, which again is worth something on its own. Um, but I didn't have any more of that to actually bundle. So I thought I'd just throw it in as the door. Um, so yeah, that's cool. I put that on. Don't know why. It may not go. Just for a laugh, really, I suppose. Um, so yeah, that'll do it. Sorry I couldn't bring you a massive haul or anything. But I didn't go to my usual big one. Uh, I just wanted to try out these two local ones. Um, and yeah, I mean, with the weather. I think even if I went to the bigger one, it wouldn't be all that great anyway. Because I went last weekend... And it was raining and there was hardly anyone there. So, yeah. And the bigger one is, I think about 10, 12, but no, about, yeah, about 12, maybe even 14 miles away. So, you know, I've, I've saved a bit of, saved a bit of petrol for myself. And, yeah, as I say, with the weather, it might not have been that great anyway. So, I've got a few bits. Got to list this stuff today. And then going out to the, the chart shops tomorrow. I have bought a... I bought a game for my Game Boy off eBay um, for like two or three quid, um, just a crappy one, just to test it. And then I'm going to bundle that game in with it, and if it's working, probably about 25, I don't know. I'm going to have to do a bit more research. Um, but yeah, so that's going to go on later this week, which is cool. Really nice find, very nostalgic find, as I mentioned previously. Um, yeah, I, I, I just... I can't wait to get the game just to play it. I don't we really, I don't want to sell it. I want to hold on to it. But I could always say to myself, look, I'll keep this one for testing. So, you know, I'm, I might do that. I am really tempted to do that. But if I say I'm going to keep it for testing, I'm just going to be playing it all the time and probably break it myself. Um, but anyway, uh, so yeah, that's that. So that was just a little update on that. Um, and yeah, I mean, I've not got that much to list. I've got a lot of Lego to sort through still, so that'll give me something to list. But other than that, I mean, just odds and ends, really, that are just in my pile of shame. Um, so yeah, and I need to get more stock for FBA, Amazon FBA. I've been slacking on my online sourcing for, for Amazon. Um, but anyway, so I'll leave it there. See you soon, guys.